for you. Y'all ready for the <laughs> All right. So if you're watching this right now, as you can see, I got on a JPEG Mafia mask, man. JPEG Mafia COVID mask, to be exact. So I went to my first JPEG Mafia concert, bro. And I really, I want to share the experience with you guys. All right, man. So he came up here to Seattle or whatever. And I was like, man, I had to catch the concert. Low key, shit snuck up on me at the last second, bro. So I had to go and buy my uh, ticket from somebody I was stuck with. And instead of the ticket being like, I don't know, instead of the ticket being like, I think it was like $50 at first, the ticket ended up being like 100 So I was like, you know what? I ain't tripping. I want to see JPEG Mafia in concert. I've been talking about this shit since I first... I think I've been talking about this shit since I first heard of all my heroes and cornballs, bro. Sorry about my voice, bro. Like, I'm really... Bro, I'm trying to get my voice back right now, man. Y'all don't... Y'all y'all don't understand, but I'm going to show it to you. So, the concert was at the Neptune Theater, you know what I'm saying? Nice little spot. Man, I get up and uh, I went by myself. That's the thing. I went up and there by myself, so I ain't really know nobody for real. I ain't even gonna lie. When I spotted my first little group of black people, I, I got happy because I was like, damn. I feel like I knew I wasn't the only black person that was on JPEG Mafia, but honestly, I don't know other black people besides myself and like maybe one or two people that I put on that, that listens to JPEG Mafia. So... Yeah, bro. So seeing those other people of color, that I was like, okay, then they they some they some fans like me. So then you know what I'm saying. I get the action, everybody. I get the action, people. You know what I'm saying. I've only been JPEG mafia fans and shit like that. And yeah, bro. Like some of these people, they've been JPEG mafia since like Black Man Carson and all that shit. A lot of them caught on to JPEG mafia when Veteran came. I noticed that was like the common answer. All right, so. He had an opening neck. I ain't checked the uh the little flyer thing or whatever. But yeah, I ain't know he had an opening act and his uh opening act was um uh, somebody named Zelloppers or whatever. I feel like it's a it's a group, but it was only like it, it was just one guy. I don't know, I could be wrong. But the dude was turnt, bro. The dude was lit as fuck, bro. <laughs> So I recorded that little part from the little balcony or whatever, but at the same time, y'all knew I had to go on that damn lines then at some point. I ain't know none of the words to the songs, but the people around me did, bro, and that just made the shit even better. So I'm just up there jumping and shit, just with everybody. I don't even know the damn words. I'm just jumping. And then he played this one song called Satellites, where he told everybody to uh, cut their lights on on their phone. So Zell Opus was a dope open act and it really got me interested in their music, so respect the video. And also, bro, like I ain't know that uh he was signed to Danny Brown's label, uh Bruiser Begay. So the man himself finally comes out. Bro, this man's stage presence is crazy, bro. And the first song he played. I can feel my face on So hype. This is me after that song. But if you think we was hype off that, nigga, the next song, bruh. Hey, hey, hey. But after Hazard Pay, bruh, he played my shit. <sighs> Energy, bro, just that was just in that, that was just in that was crazy, bro. Check me out. You broke. As you can see, bro. Not to mention, right before JPEG Mafia came out, they was playing "Baby Hit Me One More Time." So. You know, at some point, JPEG Mafia had to play this. My loneliness is killing me inside. I must confess, I still believe in time. Yo, talk about stress. And you think you did this in a battle of stress? Yo, are you thirsty? Are you fucked? Like on each other, like on some kumbaya type of shit, saying that just, I forgot what song came after that. But at the same time, bro, a man told us, the man told us to spread the crowd apart or whatever, and he, he finna play his motherfucking song. 
Man played curve stuff. Hey, who going crazy, bro? This man came into the damn crowd. I got close to him. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I got pushed, bro. Like, the crowd was so crazy, bro. I ended up pretty much down there next to him. Big shit, Hot as hell in there, like pretty much the whole time. But shout out to JPEG Mafia and the team, the Neptune Theater, you know what I'm saying, just for throwing niggas out bottles of water. JPEG Mafia was throwing out water on stage and shit, bro. Like th that shit really came in handy, bro. Shout out to him, bro. We, man, it was hot. Bro, we couldn't breathe. Like, it was some other times, like, if folks was jumping, and I kind of just sat, I had to just sit there for a minute and just ride with the damn crowd. I was just like, yeah, let me, let, let me take a break for a second, you know. After, after that, he played Cover the Money, and then I looked up. Shit, one of the dudes that I was jumping around with, they didn't threw him up in the damn mouth. He going across, he going to the other side of the stage. Oh, Play rebound. I wish I would have got a full video of that, bro. A minute, one dude, bro. We was going crazy, bro. Going, we was saying that shit back and forth with each other, man. Shout out to whoever that was, bro. Oh, I'm oh, tired as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And shit, the next couple songs, bro, I like, he, he kind of eased it out. But he played Baby on Bleeding, and it was like, oh shit, bro, we gotta get hype again. Free to Fred, I think, was a good one, you know what I'm saying? We were still hype, but it, it, it calmed the crowd down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We was able to catch our breath and shit. Rainbow Six was like a semi-hype, but we was just sort of screaming the damn lyrics at that point, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What you niggas want? Oh, got that back in the truck. Oh, I'm gonna have to go be the bad man. Baby, I'm gonna put him in place. My first JPEG Mafia concert experience, bro. That shit was great. I ain't take no pictures of myself, which I should've took some pictures of myself before, but I, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that, and then I kind of had like 30 minutes to get there, so I was kind of getting out a little late, but yeah, bro. Man, I had a overall, bro. I just had a fun-ass time, bro. Met a lot of people. Uh, wish the crazy part about it, bro, I actually met somebody, man. Shout out to the guy, bro. I ain't get his name, man. But um, he he watches the channel and shit, and he pointed me out. He was like, hey, that's you. And I was like, who, me? And then he was like, yeah, you. And he was like, I watched your channel. And I was like, oh, shit, bro. So, like, I ain't going to lie, bro. Shit like that, man. Shit made me feel good. And it just, I don't know, bro. It's some real motivation to, like, you know what I'm saying, keep going. I, I had on a hat when I walked in. But as y'all can see, bro, I was bald throughout the whole thing, bro. And I don't know. I made a lot of friends just from being bald, bro. And then, like, just to, just, I don't know. Bro, you had people, like, I don't know if he spit in somebody's mouth. But I know for a fact, it was a girl. She had a damn, she had Sharpie that shit. On her, on her forehead and it was like Peggy spit in my mouth or some shit like that. I did want to stay for a second you know what I'm saying? He said he was going to do like a uh, he was going to, you know what I'm saying, stick around and sign some shit but he had I don't know, I had waited in the merch line which I should have did that at the beginning but by the time I got like into the damn front of the merch line they were talking about some alright, JPEG Mafia just left the building I was like damn, you know what I'm saying? I went tripping because at the same time I was like bet I'm still at this table though, so you know I had to come away with something. Yes. I like this shirt, bro. I like this shirt. I like this merch, bro. I know we'll be buying more. Hopefully he drops LP the vinyl or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I might need, I need to check and see if he got any other uh, projects like that in vinyl. JPEG Mafia, if you watching this, you put on a hell of a show. 
And next time you go on tour, I will be there. I don't know what city it's going to be in, but I'm, I'm going to figure out something. I enjoyed myself. I've been a fan since with all my heroes of cornballs back in 2019. And I didn't listen to all your shit since then, bro. Yeah, you a hell of an artist. And yeah, bro, I can't wait to see you do another show. So yeah, thank y'all for watching this, man. Glad to share this experience with y'all. And yeah, peace.